Come to bed. You used to tell me every night. You played my body the way you used to touch your guitar. You coaxed me in with your voice, serenade me, and I was helpless. Come to bed, you used to tell me every night. You'd reel me in with your soft spun words. I was straw that you'd transform into gold. You'd make me feel precious, but not before making sure I knew what I was, just straw. Come to bed, you used to command me, and I would. I'd crawl into bed with you just to let you come over next to me and wrap your arms around my body. Your arms felt like iron bars. Your bed was my prison. I'd crawl into bed because you made me forget how to walk on my feet. On those mornings, I'd wake up restless instead of rested. Your touch turning dreams into nightmares. Our breakfast consisted of coffee and tension, toast and apprehension. Eventually, the living room became my second room and both the couch and my mind were made up by the time we woke up. Come to bed, you whispered, come to bed, but I can't. I'm working, I'm studying, I'm busy, just give me another five minutes. We're all just code for I'm working working on holding in my vomit at the sound of your voice because your words always brushed against my skin, picking out my imperfections. I'm studying, studying all the ways to delude myself, trying all the ways to convince myself that your hands never caused me any pain, only pleasure. I'm busy, busy, trying to think of more reasons to stay with you, but just give me another five minutes and maybe you'll fall asleep before I get into bed with you. Come to bed, you used to tell me every night we fit together like strings to a guitar, tight and perfectly in tune. But then, excuses crawled into bed with you instead of me. Instead of sleeping together on our bed, I slept on my side of the bed, slept on the left side of the bed, and eventually left your side for another bed altogether. I left you, alone, in that bed. Your body curled up in the shape of a question mark, questions marking the broken distance between us, making you wonder where you took the wrong turn and when to make the right one to fix us. But you can't. I wish I could say it wasn't me, it was you. But it was me and it was you and we were both so toxic. The highs weren't just, weren't worth the crashes because I always fell too hard when you pushed me and I broke myself in the process. I was becoming a monster I couldn't recognize. Stop it, please, don't hurt me. I'm sorry I cheated on you. Sorry that I made you cry. I'm sorry that I poisoned our happy memories to leave only their ashes behind. And I'm sorry that I let myself stay with you as long as I have when I should have known better. I'm sorry that I let you hurt me and use me, convinced that you loved me. I'm sorry that I forgot what it meant to respect myself. I'm sorry I cheated on you, regardless of you, because I like to think that I hold myself to a higher standard. I know you don't mean the things that you do sometimes, but that doesn't make it better. I'm sorry I excused your behavior. I should have stood up for myself sooner. One day, I might mail you this poem and hope you'll understand. Maybe you'll read this poem on a Sunday, then throw it away, knowing that this poem was just a snapshot of the past on your worst day. But that day is over. It's a new day. And you'll treat your next girlfriend the right way, right? Come to bed, you used to tell me. Come to bed.